I was afraid for the briefest moment when I woke this morning. I didn't know where I was. I thought perhaps it had all been a dream, stopping the absolute, saving my parents. Then I realized I was in your arms. We did it. Everything's perfect. Almost, anyway. I know. It was her. Shah. Using the wound to hurt me. Out of pure spite. She can try to twist the knife all she likes. I know I can survive her worst. Nothing she does can sour the fact that I have my family again. Thank you. Sometimes I have to remind myself of that very thing. It's nice to hear someone else say it. You and I... Our time together has been very dear to me. I had hoped maybe there might be more to come. It's not an exciting life that I lead, but I'd like you to be a part of it. I doubt I'd have anything at all if it wasn't for you. Good. Then seek me out when you have time. I'm hoping to find some place I can settle down and stay close to my parents. Somewhere quiet, where they can find peace and gaze at the night sky. I'll keep a spot for you. It'll be just like old times. You and Shadowheart found your peace in a country farmstead with a pack of pets and a garden of night orchids. You were basking beneath the silver moon after a midnight swim one night when you notice a letter among your discarded clothes. An invitation to a gathering of the friends and allies who stood by your side in the fight against the Absolute. He waste no time in packing and set off on the long road back to where all of your adventures together began. I didn't expect to be nervous, but seeing everyone here like this, it's strange, isn't it? I feel like I must have dreamed the last few months. Now I'm waking up back in camp with my hair smelling like wood smoke and fallen leaves stuck to my backside. Uh, save it for when we're alone. Anyway, I know it's real. I know we made it. I just... Wish I could go back in time and reassure the old me that it would all work out. But enough introspection. This is a party. I hope we won't seem terribly boring to everyone when they ask what we've been doing this past while. A cottage in the countryside. They may have been expecting something more. Well, more. True. They might even be jealous of the bucolic life. Perhaps every adventurer secretly pines for a little flower-strewn cottage overrun with animals. <laughs> Stop it, you. We'll be back before you know it. Tonight, let's just enjoy ourselves. Catch up with old friends. <clears throat> it's fine. Already passed. Shall must have sensed I was enjoying myself. <laughs> you 
You'll seize any opportunity, won't you? But I suppose I've been giving you plenty of encouragement. already nice lady she gives pets and tasty things I like her I go to her enjoying yourself I hope I know I'll have to stop myself from getting teary-eyed when it's time to say goodbye again let's make tonight count the only regrets I want to hear about come morning should revolve around an excess of carousing and questionable dancing. Oh, did you now? Come on then, out with it. You didn't. Of course he can come with us. I always regretted we didn't extend the offer after the battle. It was all such a blur. We'll have to find somewhere for him to sleep, of course. He'd get stuck in the door of the cottage. Maybe the barn. It's as warm as anywhere, as long as he gets along with the other animals. Well, now we're going to have to do that, aren't we? You're a bad influence, you know. I can picture the look on my parents' faces already. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Hilarious. You could find work as a jester if you stumble upon a noble with more gold than taste. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Filled out and healthy is what I was going for. Don't tell me you miss living off whatever scraps we found in crates and barrels. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I had no doubt, but I'm glad to hear you say it all the same. I found a little cottage. Abandoned, half ruined. There's a lot of such places to be found thanks to the Absolute's armies. I've been making it my own. You can come as soon as you please, so long as the lodgers approve of you. Four dogs, eight cats, nine chickens, six pigeons, four sheep, a milk cow named Daphne, a squirrel who's far too clever for her own good, and a wolf cub I found orphaned in some woods. He's just a frightened little pup. He has no idea what he'll grow up to be. And maybe, with me there to guide him, who knows what he'll become. It's amazing what can happen with the right nurturing. I've called him Buttons, because he has different coloured eyes like buttons on a ragdoll. Healing. Learning to live again. It's hard to think of all that was robbed from them, but... They're intent on making every day count for double. My mother's mind still drifts every now and again, but she has more good days than not so good days. She taught me her recipe for apple and plum pie, and when I tasted it, I actually remembered it from when I was a little girl. Some things can't be taken from you, it seems. 
Father's making himself useful, helping me fix up the cottage and caring for the animals. His wolf form is very useful in helping Buttons to acclimatize. I think part of him wishes I'd ended up as a lycanthrope as well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. Family life and pastry recipes probably aren't the most interesting topics for such a historic reunion. I couldn't have said it better myself. Just be sure to take your own advice whenever you can. You've earned it. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. Do you ever rest? Think of all those poor, budding adventurers looking to make a name for themselves. Take some time off and give them a chance, why don't you? Hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. Don't remind me. Someone's always got somewhere else to be. But let's do our best all the same. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Oh, before you go, how does a red dragon plan their day? They don't. They just wing it. <laughs> Sorry. My father's got years of terrible jokes stocked up that he never got to tell me when I was younger, but lucky for him, I've never heard them. And seemingly, I am easily amused. As if you'd have me any other way. Go on, you've got mingling to do. I'll work on my punchlines some more. I've missed wine. Had to resort to making my own cider recently, which isn't bad, don't get me wrong. But a girl can't have fun with apples alone. <laughs> you might be onto something there, though the name might need work. Somehow it sounds rude even though I know otherwise. I suppose it's worth a try. It might keep the animals amused for a while. Hmm, let me see. Oh, what did the amorous boar say to the sow? Ha, ah, not quite. Fancy, uh, but oink? Oh, come on, you loved it. I'll wager I'll overhear you telling that to someone else before the night is out. Oh, hells what? What another adventure, is it? I'm quite content with my semi-retirement. The owlbear. Of course I'll have him. If he wants to come with me, that is. I'd have offered sooner, but everything was a blur after the battle. I thought he'd gone to roam free. I'll have to find somewhere for him to sleep, of course. He'd get stuck in the door of my cottage. Maybe the barn. It's as warm as anywhere as long as he gets along with Daphne. I suppose you're right. He's come a long way since he first wandered into our camp. We all have. I can picture the look on my parents' faces already. Hmm. 
Last night was... perfect. Though... I couldn't help lying there thinking about my parents before you stirred. I gave them the release they asked for. Freed myself from Shah's grasp just as they wished for. But there's moments where I think I'd trade that to be able to see them again. Talk to them again. There's so much only they could have told me. But that's all gone now. I've got to move on. Find some place for myself. I was hoping you'd say that. Whatever lies ahead will be far less daunting if I have you. It could be just like old times. Well, hopefully not exactly like old times. I think I've had enough camping and mortal peril for one lifetime. Since the Netherbrain fell, you and Shadowheart have seen more of Faerun than you ever thought possible. She no longer shies from wolves or water. Nothing in the world frightens her anymore. And you feel you could face anything by her side. One day, you receive a letter passed to you by a stranger who bows with deference. An invitation to a gathering of the friends and allies who stood by your side in the fight against the Absolute. He waste no time in packing and set off on the long road back to where all of your adventures together began. Oh, I've noticed. Ever since I first slipped into my camp garments, I should think. So... We should divvy up what we tell people about what we've been doing these past few months. I'd hate to be a boar that comes along and regurgitates the same story to someone moments after you've told them. Any ideas? There are friends, dear. Let's spill nothing but wine tonight. I'm sure we'll have them hanging off our every word. <laughs> I'll leave you to do some mingling, unless you need anything else. That can be arranged. Almost a shame we're with company. I'd be tempted to let you whisk me away someplace quiet. <laughs> Why? Are you expecting to be gone for long? <laughs> All right. could get lost in those arms. With music in the air and wine flowing, oh, I think I'll manage. Don't get into trouble, but if you must, fetch me first. Oh, did you now? Come on then, out with it. Bear. Of course he can come with us. I always regretted we didn't extend the offer after the battle. It was all such a blur. Are you sure he'd want to join? I'm not exactly settled anywhere right now. It could be dangerous at times. All right then. It's settled. Oh, the things we'll get up to. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Oh, 
What can I say? We shared something extraordinary, even if we didn't always see eye to eye. Let's leave old squabbles in the past. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. Hmm. You feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. I'm not entirely sure I'd agree. In fact, I found a nice meadow not far from where I live now. Every now and again, I'll spend the night there. For old time's sake. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I had no doubt. But I'm glad to hear you say it all the same. Wandering, mostly. The adventuring life is almost a tonic when you're not constantly threatened by brain monsters and cultists. I can finally see the world beyond the cloister. One of my first stops was the House of the Moon in Waterdeep. It's the largest temple of Saluna in existence. It seemed like the perfect spot to reflect on my parents, on where they came from. And where I came from too, I suppose. Hard to imagine, isn't it? Me, of all people, in the lair of the Moon Witch herself. God, you're truest act of heroism was putting up with all that char and drivel I was spouting for so long. And oh so modest. Well, I've had run-ins with my former fellow Sharons on a couple of occasions. Word seems to have spread of what happened at the cloister. Now other chapters of Shah worshippers see me as a prime target to... Offer up to their lady as a sacrifice. Don't worry. I know their tired old tricks better than anyone. They'll need more than a hooded cloak and poison blade to best me. Especially when I have a friend on the inside keeping me abreast of their predictable little plans. None other. The matter of her faith and allegiances remains... complicated let's say. But she is still my oldest friend. I have hopes that perhaps she might turn from Shah entirely given time. But that's a decision she will have to make for herself. If that day comes, I'll be ready. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. I can imagine. A celebrity in their midst. They must have raised their voices from whispers to faint murmurs. Hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. Is that so? And what liberties did you decide to take exactly? The Albert. Of course I'll have him. If he wants to come with me, that is. I'd have offered sooner, but everything was a blur after the battle. I thought he'd gone to roam free. Are you sure he'd want to join? I'm not exactly settled anywhere right now. It could be dangerous at times. All right, then. It's settled. Oh, the things we'll get up to.
Last night was... an exception. I hope you understand that. The battle's won. Our journey is over. And I need to take my place at Lady Shah's side. How could I forget? A pleasant, vivid memory. But now I have to move on. All this has been to bring me to this point. And now I'm finally here. Thanks in no small part to you. Lady Shah's work is never ending. I've cleansed the ranks of her followers, leaving only the faithful, the worthy. Now is the time to spread her word. So many have suffered greatly in recent times, gripped by pain and loss. They will rush to the Dark Lady's embrace. It was special, but also fleeting, as it was always going to be. Do you know why I love Night Orchids? In part, because they do not last. They bloom where few ever see them. And in that moment, they're perfect. Then, they return to the darkness that birthed them. I am glad for the time we had together. There is much I still cannot truly remember. But I will never forget you. Lady Shah's blessings to you. Or perhaps you don't need them. You look well. I couldn't agree more. Lady Shah's holy work is all-consuming. I doubt I'd manage without a feather bed to turn to. Her entire church prospers. The Absolute washed the Sword Coast with blood and tears. It's now a fertile ground for her message to flourish. Broken hearts, shaken faiths, refugees without homes, former cultists without purpose. They can all become the Night Singer's children, with the right nudge. You should see how they flock to us. We spread like the night sky chasing the sun below the horizon. A pity, yes, but also for the best, perhaps. It would have pained me to have you close, but not be able to dedicate myself to you in every waking moment. We would have been able to claim just enough of each other's hearts in order for it to hurt. Better to indulge ourselves fully whenever fate allows than to live in compromise. And tonight of all nights was made for indulgence. I'd like to think I'm cunning enough to get away with it. Come here to me. Vintage. Bittersweet to taste so infrequently, yet always worth the wait. Now, tell me all. What have you been doing with yourself this past while?
I won't pretend I'm not a little jealous. Lady Shah is a demanding mistress, as is her right to be. But a little calm and solitude would be a tonic. I suppose you'll be keen to do the rounds with so many old acquaintances gathered. Do not let me hoard your time. But don't be such a stranger either in future. You know where to find me. I can always make some time for an old friend. One of the privileges of being in charge. Would that I could. But this is my life now. Lady Shah must come first. Always. All consuming. Endless decisions to make. Underlings jockeying for your attention. Threats from the outside, threats from the inside. There's times I miss when it was just our little group against the odds. Simplicity is a luxury that's drifted out of my reach, I'm afraid. But at least for tonight, I can have a taste of how it used to be. I shouldn't, but from time to time, yes. Holding the office she once held, standing within the shadow of Lady Shah herself, complicates my feelings towards her. I came to see her as an adversary, an obstacle. But what recourse did she have? What did she see when she looked at me? A future in which she was discarded, where the reward for her service and sacrifice was to groom her own replacement. What transpired was the Dark Lady's will. If time rolled back, I would do the same thing all over again without hesitation. Yet, I am not without sympathy. Almost as busy as I am. Such rapid growth creates a good deal of work for a quartermaster. So many lost souls in need of dark cloaks. She has risen to the occasion, though, as I knew she would. Sometimes she fears the others will grow jealous, but I see her as a favorite. Well, it's true. I do. They can challenge me on the matter if they dare, though none are so bold. What? A show of sincere affection? You're lucky none of my followers are around to witness this. Come here. Let's keep that our special secret. I have a reputation to maintain, you know. That's the sort of trouble I live for. I might need a few more of those before the sun threatens to rise.